At Skyping School we have right now 730 students. We have made a massive investment for the last two years and the students on the third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade and sixth grade are using Chromebooks right now. That means three or four hundred Chromebooks and they of course are educated in cloud computing. The change for the teachers, in the beginning it was very difficult because they had to change their way of teaching. Now they, they share more with each other. It's much easier for me as a teacher to see and guide each student because I can see what they've been doing. We can sit down on the computer after the class and see what have they been doing today and what have this particular uh, child been doing. We actually primarily use the, the classroom app. It's actually a working environment where the teacher has all uh, the assignments, all his and her students in, in one page and the same with the students. They have their lessons, assignments and such all in one place. It makes everybody work together actually. And I see it as a huge a positive thing because not necessarily anymore the teacher is the one who has all the knowledge. The students are, are engaging in uh, and experimenting with this Chromebook and as a teacher uh, we should listen to the things they have to say as well because they are co-creators of this whole new universe. A good friend is Jakob Tanks for Collaboration is, is extremely important because that is the way we believe the students learn. They remember what they've learned much better when they've learned it together with someone, when they've talked about it, when they've shared something, then they remember. This is a Danish lesson. I presented them to uh, three different assignments. The first one, they're working in a shared document and they are writing questions to the three main characters in the book we just read. And assignment number two, they're going to make a resume. They will write the keywords and then they'll use the voice recorder to uh, record the resume. They will take their Chromebooks outside the classroom and find a quiet place where they can record it. I'll go out and I'll see how they're doing, help them with the technical side and uh, listen to if everything is working alright. I could also sit at my desk monitoring uh, their progress because when they save the recording, I can right away give them feedback and tell them, no, this is not good enough. You need to speak up louder or you need to say more. When they got the feedback after the job was done, they weren't so engaged in going back and correcting things. Right now, I can give the feedback while they're working on it and that's the big change. They will put the resume in a folder they shared with me in such a way I'm going to listen to all 20 pupils' resumes and it gives me a chance to listen to them individually. When the students work on a project, they're not sitting with the computer all the time. They're investigating, they're taking pictures, they're reading books uh, too. We have breaks and we call it brain breaks. 30 minutes or 20 minutes when they run out or, well, we call it learning and moving. It also includes a big responsibility I put on my students because they have the opportunity to send each other bad links or to chat with each other regarding things that are not related to what they're supposed to do. But putting trust into them, saying that I trust that you will work independently and smart with this Chromebook. We talk a lot about faceless communication because when you chat with each other it's, it's easier to write hurtful things. It's more difficult to sort of read the body language when there is no body language. The students are more active now in the learning process. The amount of time where the teacher uh, gives information or explaining, that time is de decreasing and we're probably also getting even more sharp on what to use that amount of time for and uh, use more time on actual learning activities where the students are active and engaging.
when it comes to motivation of the kids, it's easy. I mean, they just give them a computer and they're ready to go. It doesn't even matter what I'm asking them to do. My cousins don't wear granite and they're so jealous. <laughs> like, everyone is so jealous that I'm telling them I can work together with four people in all different places and put in our own different inputs uh, in the same document at the same time so we get some inspiration. I remember I just lost all my papers, so when I would be in class I would just have to look through everything. But now on the Chromebook you can just uh, organize it and it's just much easier, so I just think it's fantastic. Well, I think it prepares them a lot better than, than, the, than the way we used to work, because computers and, and this way of working is, well, it is what we're going to send them out to in a few years. I think it's, it's a very good idea to teach them now.